I'm Spider here and bringing you my first stream on Twitch using Pokemon TCG Standard. So this is really quite exciting. I'm glad to finally be able to do this. My first stream on Twitch using Pokemon TCG Standard. Sorry about that, I forgot to mute my other window. <laughs> Um, yeah, so this is really exciting for me. I'm keen to try and actually finally break into this and give it a try. Um, yeah, so the plan for today is to basically open up a whole bunch of packs and take it from there. So what I want to do is open up, I think I have about 15 Sword and Shield packs. Uh, let me jump over to my collection quickly and take a look. I've got about 15 or so Sword and Shield packs that I want to pick up and just check out see what's inside of them and see if I can actually build a standard deck out of it. Uh, this is taking a real long time. Wow. Okay. Here we go. Uh, these are the packs I have. I'm going to be opening up all of these now, bar the unlocked packs from Sword and Shield. These I am saving for a giveaway later down the line. Um, yeah, so I do have a YouTube channel. Definitely check it out. I do mainly theme deck stuff. I like checking out the older theme decks. Uh, playing them, seeing how, and basically seeing how they perform in the current meta. I enjoy the challenge, and I think it's quite fun. Um, it's always interesting playing as the underdog. And yeah, let's just see how this goes. This really is a test. I am 100% new to standard. Um, I've only been playing Pokemon TCG online using the theme decks. Unfortunately, I don't have a store near, my, near me either, so I don't actually play physically anymore, which is quite sad. But unfortunately, life goes on. Um, so yeah, this is really just a break in the standard format. I'm gonna just check out and see how it go. So I've got a whole bunch of raw item chests. I think, let me start with these just for fun. And let's see how they go. Um, so as for what standard deck I want to build, honestly, I'm not quite sure just yet. Um, I've looked a little bit at like the meta and ah, I don't know what direction I want to lean in. Uh, I know I want, what I do want to do is try and have as many uh, of the new Sword and Shield cards as possible. Um, the reason for that is, uh, it's just the new deck, I want to try and promote as much as possible. Sorry, the new set, not the new deck. Um, better the effect of trying to card the new Pokemon, oh that's quite cool. I actually really like, so this Dust Island, uh, basically whenever either player switches their poisoned active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon with the effects of a trainer card, the new active Pokemon is now affected by that special condition. I've always wanted to make like a really cool special conditions deck. Uh, I think they're interesting. Uh, go like poison heavy. I like damage over time. It's an interesting mechanic. Um, I don't know how viable that'll be as an actual deck, but hey, let's see. Oh, cool. Cobaline. Very cool. Um, so yeah, I quite frankly have no real preferences when it comes to the decks I want to make. Obviously I always lean towards grass type decks as I just like them. Um, as to uh, how great they are, I, I don't know so much about that. Horn, put three damage counters on an opponent's active Pokemon and Vest of Life. Once during turn before you attack, you may discard all cards attached to this Pokemon um, and attach it to one of your Pokemon as a Pokemon tool card. When the Pokemon this is going to two, your opponent gets takes one fewer prize cards. Eh, that's not bad. Uh, I can see it might have some uses. So yeah, um, definitely, uh, if you've got any advice for what you think I should do with regards to theme decks, uh, theme decks, sorry, standard decks and a deck list, let me know. Um, I am not familiar with um, the standard format at all, so I'm quite keen to learn and get a uh, get a going with it. So uh, that's quite cool, I don't know, tool. You may just got a number of cards from your hand, then draw a card, oh, that's pretty cool. Alright, so that's all those left. I'm going to leave Sword and Shield to last. I want to start off uh, on the left hand side and work my way through. Open up these packs and yeah, let's just see what we get. Um, I, I'm excited. I always love opening up packs and seeing what we can build. Uh, and yeah, this like I said, this is my first stream. If there's any audio problems, video problems, let me know. Uh, I'm hoping it's looking okay. My preview is looking a bit hit and miss, so I'm hoping it works out alright. So what did we get? Uh, nothing fantastic from here. No, we got the Plasma Espeon, eh, it's not great. Um, and let's see, what rare did we get? Oh, we got actually got a Karim, Team Plasma Karim. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I'll make a deck out of that, I don't know how viable that is, quite frankly. 
Um, let's see. What's coming up next? Um, yeah, not anything that's really standing out to me. Uh, what do we get as our special? And we got ourselves another Seismitoad. Um, gives us 3 damage to each bench Pokemon, both yours and your opponents. So like, I actually quite like that Seismic Punch. Uh, seismic Punch, it's interesting. Um, I know it hits your own bench as well. So I don't think, yeah, it's not really that viable. It's like I said, it's interesting, but I don't think it's anything good. And what's coming up next? Um, nothing really interesting coming up from these Team Plasma decks, I must say. Uh, I love bug type Pokemon, this cocoon is high. Flip a coin if hits prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. It's a 50% chance to buy yourself another turn, which is quite nice. Uh, Flare on. And what do we get? We got ourselves a Weevil. Alright. Um, takes a 10 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, it's, not, it's not bad, but by no means is anything great. Okay, let's go into the Forbidden Light and let's see what we can pick up. And hopefully we can actually pick up some better draws. So I want to try and stream for about an hour today. Hour, maybe hour and a half. See how it goes. I definitely want to open up all my packs and hopefully put a deck together and take it from there. So this is not looking too bad. Um, for Bebe, evolutionary advantage. If you go second, this Pokemon can evolve during your first turn. Ah, oh, that's quite cool. Um, the fact that fairy type Pokemon are getting basically excluded, it might make it interesting, but eh, it's nothing too great. Final hour. If this Pokemon is your active Pokemon is knocked up by damage from an opponent's attack with three damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. That's pretty cool. I quite like that. Uh, come in handy just as a basic like, throwaway Pokemon. Nothing else too amazing here. Oh, we also have De uh, Deancey. Um, Prism. Princess's Cheers. As long as this Pokemon is on your bench, your fighting type Pokemon attack you 20 more damage to opponent's active Pokemon. This is something I could definitely use. Um, if I'm going for fighting type deck, if I'm able to open up like um, Stone Jaw V, that'll be amazing. Um, I'll be very, very happy with that. Um, interesting. Okay, this is actually a pretty good pull. Um, yeah, this is definitely one to keep on the back burners that I've actually got that. Uh, I hope I can actually pull something from it. And then a lot of Malwark. Eh, it's not bad, not great. I've got I've got it already from the theme deck, so it's not absolutely fantastic. Um, the BC302. Hey, Spider, I hope you have a great stream. Thanks so much, my friend. Um, thanks for the shout out there. Uh, I hope this goes well. I'm gonna get on FaceTime call with a girlfriend, but I'll be back. Cool man, check later. Uh, enjoy the call with your girlfriend. I'm hoping the stream goes well. I'm hoping I can actually get a good deck put together. Um, as I said, I haven't played Standard basically ever. Uh, I used to play like, obviously casually with my friends, but I mean that was back in elementary school. And that was a good couple of years ago. Um, there's nothing really standing out here too much. Um, I do see I got a custom catcher. I would be very, very happy if I can get four of these going together in a deck. Um, just being able to just essentially disgust my opponent's Pokemon and be able to pull off of their bench will be fantastic. Unfortunately, if I only get a one of of this custom catcher, it's not going to be that useful. So let's hope I can open up three more. Um, otherwise, this might be something I want to trade for. Um, I am going to trade as little as possible. Um, I'm certainly not going to trade away my unopened packs from a Sword and Shield, as I am saving those for a giveaway. Um, I'm going to try and build it with as few trades as possible. I think that's a better way of doing it. Obviously, if there's something I'm missing like a one-off, I'll go for a trade. But because I'm very new to Standard, I don't want to jump at too many trades, simply because I'm not as aware of all of the values of the cards. So if you do see something, definitely do shout it out and point it out to me. Um, and as I said, this is certainly a learning stream. And we'll take it from there and see how it can go. Sunshine Grace. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a grass pack one of the and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. That's actually really cool. Like I said, I'd love to be able to make a grass type deck. Um, my concern is I don't really know how viable it is. Um, seeing as Heracross actually reminds me, I've had such great success recently with running the Entei theme deck. I know Brutal Must Stand and jump back to theme decks. But I got a nine win streak this morning playing the Entei deck, which was absolutely awesome. Um, it's such a great theme deck. It's so reliable. And I think it's definitely a, like a sleeper deck that I haven't really jumped on until quite recently. And playing 
like consecutive games with it. It's a lot of fun. That Macargo is absolutely fantastic and allows you to set up so easily. And what's our special here? A Dust Ox. <laughs> it looks like it's meant to be a grass type deck. Um, has this evolution. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may leave your opponent's active Pokemon paralyzed and poisoned. If you do, put three damage counts instead of one on their Pokemon between turns. That is awesome. Like I said, I really want to make a like a special conditions deck. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm not sure how to do it just as of yet, um, but it's certainly something I want to try and get going. Um, it's something different, and I like. I like different. If you've watched any of my other videos on my YouTube channel, you know I love different. So being able to use this dust Dustox to build a special conditions deck could be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'll see what I can do. I'm definitely leaning towards like grass special conditions type of deck. Okay, nothing too great standing out of me just yet. What's the speed mark? Search your deck for three combi, put them into your bench, then shuffle your deck. Eh. Perplex, eh. Uh, Carbink, which is always, it's something, I guess. It's not fantastic. So that's the, uh, hey, you got a Whitney. Draw a card, then draw two cards for each other Whitney in your discard pile. <sighs> if, if you're able to get like four off, it's quite great, but eh, again. And a Victini, V, v beat down. Let's take the 20 damage for each of your basic Pokemon in play. Interesting, doubt I'll use it. All right, so picking up the Sun and Moon team up booster packs. Let's see if I can get lucky with some team ups. Um, one of the type of deck I would love to build is a mill deck. Um, again, I think it's really interesting. I don't know if I'll be able to put one together. I think that's the type of deck that I'm going to have to unfortunately um, trade for to be able to build, but let's see. One thing to note is that this, like my entire playthrough is free to play. Uh, I haven't bought any actual physical booster packs and enter codes. This is 100% free to play, just playing Pokemon TCG online. No gimmicks, no funny things, no cheating, nothing along those lines. It really has just been playing vanilla, playing for fun. So in go and emit. Look at the top card of your deck, then choose one. Discard your hand and draw five cards. Discard your hand and draw five cards from the bottom of your deck. Interesting, okay. So you can see whether you want to actually take, take that draw this turn or take it next turn. Um, yeah, it's it's interesting. I don't know if there's anything really worthwhile or not. Um, Cosmion, Nap, eh. Um, I don't think I have anything even bought off of that. And then a Skomri, Comstrike. If you have used your GX attack, this takes a 70 more damage. <sighs> like, I'm, I, I could build a Steel deck, then maybe? But I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be able to get much value out of that. Hey, Sunny Shine. Uh, welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoy it. And let's see if we can uh, get any really cool cards from all of these boosters. And let's see if we can build a deck together. Uh, if you see anything interesting, anything in any interesting combos, my word, uh, definitely let me know. Um, as I said, I'm very new to playing standard, very new to the meta, and I want to see if I can actually put a deck together. Uh, look at the top four cards via the player's deck and put them back in any order. That moon is actually really cool just to mess with your opponent. Um, you can really fix the, their next couple of draws with that. Um, yeah, I quite like that. I, I don't know how competitive it is, but I think it's quite interesting. Okay, I like that. Not much value there. Jinx, Ominous Posture. Once during your turn, you remove one damage count of one of your Pokemon to another uh, of your Pokemon. That can be super, super handy. And I see this Jinx has been played a few times. I'm not completely familiar um, with the entire deck list of how that Jinx works. But I know there is some value with it. Um, again, I don't think I'll be able to actually make anything worthwhile out of it. But hey. Tapa Coco, Electro Ball, and Nature Dive. If your opponent's active Pokemon is an Ultra Beast, this takes 100 more damage and discard two energies from this Pokemon. Um, yeah, it's, it's certainly interesting. Um... Very situational though, which I don't know how great that's going to be. Um, but hey, let's move forward. I hear my fans actually spinning up really, really loud right now. So I'm hoping you're not hearing it on the stream. If you do hear it, please let me know and I'll see if I can do anything about it. Um, I don't know what I can do other than move my laptop. But I don't know how that great that's going to be. And also, yeah, I'm playing on a laptop. <laughs> um, which is always great fun. 
Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a PC anymore. Um, it's quite, quite sad. I was saving up to get a PC quite recently. When I say quite recently, I mean literally last week. And my phone broke. And unfortunately, I needed a new phone, especially for work. And so yeah, they went all my budget for my PC into my new phone, which kind of sucked. But hey, maybe that's something for the future. Um, that camera rubbed is terrible though. So let's open another and see if we get something better. I'm really looking forward to the Sword and Shield decks, uh, booster packs though. Uh, it's, it's really what I'm looking forward to seeing, like just the new cards as well. Um, nothing incredibly exciting here. Um, it's a beautiful Lapras. I do love this Lapras with Mermaid's Call. Once you can turn before you attack me, put a Misty's Favor card from your discard pile uh, into your hand. I think I have two Misty's Favors. Um, let's just double check that. Um, and Wimpod, Sand Attack. If any Pokemon tries to attack during the next turn, flip a coin. If Tails, that attack does nothing. Uh, definitely a stalling Pokemon and frustrating, but nothing too crazy. And Lucario, Tag Coach. Your tag team Pokemon take 20 less damage from your opponent's attacks. Interesting. Um, I don't have a lot of tag team Pokemon, so I don't think I can actually get much value out of that. Let me actually see how many Misty's favors I have. I don't think I have a whole lot. Um, let's see, Misty's favor. Uh, that is one M. Misty's favor? Oh no, I only have one. I thought I had two. Oh well. Okay, let's jump back to our packs then and let's get these going. So these Sword and Shield ones are the ones I'm really looking forward to opening up. Um, let's see, do we get anything good from this? <sighs> let's see. Um, seeing this Sizzlipede, I would love to build that um, Sizzle Scorch mill deck, but again, I just don't see much value in it. Um, Sunny Shine, I just started playing this game again that I also used to mainly just play theme decks, and I also have a lot of unopened packs I might open soon. It's actually very similar to the situation. I'll uh, also try to get into standard while still playing theme decks. I definitely say go for it. Um, I do love playing theme decks. I love that it's like a really, I want to say, I love the fact that it's a really enclosed format. So it's not out there. And it's really great for new players because you can pick up a theme deck and you can play with it. And it's not crazy combos. And you're not getting flattened by crazy GX or tag team Pokemon on third turn. So yeah, I 100% agree with you there um, that playing theme decks is really cool. But I like branching out into standard. Um, it's something I've been looking to do for a while now, and I think it's about time. So good luck that you're doing it as well. Um, with the like promo that's happening at the moment with a spring event, getting double trainer tokens, it's that much easier to pick up the uh, the booster pack. Sorry. So let's just take a look at this quickly. Relentless Flame, nothing great there. Um, expand. You can bonus next turn. This Pokemon takes ten less damage from attacks. Okay. Um, not great, but hey. Uh, Gookie, nothing special. Subble, nothing special. Raiho, nothing too special. Hitmon Lee, Cord and Strike. If, Hitmon, hit, if Hitmon Chan is on your bench, the attack does 80 more damage. Maybe? It's so energy dependent though. But hey, let's see. Salazzle, Searing Flame. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned. And Bright Flame, 120, discard 2. Nothing great. It's a great artwork though. I must say, I really love that artwork. That is so cool. <laughs> Okay, I really love the artwork, the card's not so great. Metal Source I'm seeing has been played quite a lot. Attach a Metal Energy card from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. I see this has been used a lot with the, um, uh, Zamazen Zamazenta? No, Zacian. Uh, the Zacian V with the Intrepid Sword ability. And hey, if I get super lucky, that would be a great opening to go. Haunter, your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. Ah, that's quite cool. And Spooky Shot. I'm still a sucker for all the old Gen 1s. And hey, there's Zamazenta. Um, this is actually the second copy of this card I have, so that's quite cool. Um, prevent all. So the Zamazenta V, Metal type Pokemon, 230 HP, and Daughter Shield. I'm happy seeing this. I don't know how to put this into a deck, but I'm definitely happy seeing it. Daughter Shield, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's um, Pokemon V Max, and Assault Tackle, 130, discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. There might be some value in this. Um, the fact that it just doesn't take damage from VMAX Pokemon might be something, but again, I don't know how many VMAX Pokemon are going to come up against. Um, but yeah, certainly a cool card to pick up, and it's quite exciting. For a first Sword and Shield pack, 
from this like batch that I'm opening up. I'm happy with that. Um, let's see. Let's go sword and shield packs by Kilum. Wow, mate, I can't say your name. Kilumin Natia Elia. Yeah, Elia. Let's go for that. Um, yeah, I'm super excited. I'm glad you're excited as well. And I hope some see we see some G Max there. Let's hope so. Let's see what comes out in the future and uh, let's see if we get lucky. And how I'm gonna start building my own decks, I play only theme for now. Uh, so Asset Baka, we're in the uh, same boat, my friend. Um, as of building your own decks, I know that like the um, uh, Macago from the Entei deck has great value. Uh, even just picking up a second copy of the theme deck, just have two copies of that Macago, might be worthwhile. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what the most beneficial two theme decks are to actually pick up and go from there. Uh, but that's certainly one way if you're enjoying the theme decks and if you haven't bought the Entei deck already, I would highly suggest picking it up. Um, as I was saying earlier, I had a nine win streak with that deck this morning. It is super, super reliable. Um, so playing it just on the standard theme, not the standard theme ladder, but like the theme versus ladder, you can pick up really easy wins with that deck, which will be a lot easier for you to pick up more packs and pick up free uh, trainer tokens. Uh, you might be able to get some value out of it as well in the events. Uh, so that might be one way to look into it. Uh, as for building your decks from there, uh, playing events to try and get as many unlocked booster packs as possible is a great way to go. Uh, people will trade basically anything for unopened booster packs. So if you're able to win quite a few events and get yourself uno uh, unlocked booster packs, that's a great way to build your collection. Uh, on top of that, the events are a great way to get trainer tokens. So you're kind of killing two birds with one stone if you can do well in those events. Um, and what booster packs would you recommend to buy? Sunny Shine, I'm not entirely sure the best way to answer that. I'm not 100% clued up with the standard meta right now. I picked up the Sword and Shields. I want to definitely pick up as many um, Zacian. I want to try and get a Zacian. It's got great trade value. Um, so at the moment, Sword and Shields for me are where to basically pick up. I think there might be a lot of value there. The new Stone Jorn VMAX is quite crazy apparently as well. So I think there's quite a lot of value with new Sword and Shield cards. And because it is a newer set, you might be able to get some trade value out of it. So that might be one way to look into it. Um, other than that, look at what standard decks you want to try and build. And the, um, the sets they come from. And then pick up those boosters. So, Evolution Incense. Search your deck for an Evolution Pokemon, reveal it and put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. That can be useful if you're looking for... A specific Pokemon. Uh, if you're going for like a stage one, stage two kind of theme deck, that might be quite useful. Um, Vitality Ban. The attacks of the Pokemon this card is attached to do 10 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Not bad, not great, but it's not bad to have. Haunter and Salandit. Oh, this is the Salandit that actually matches the that other card. No, it doesn't actually match the card art at all. Um, nothing too crazy there. And what do we have? Got a Toxicroak. I love dark type Pokemon. I'd love to build a dark type deck. And I just got those dark right EXs um, from the Versus ladder. So maybe. More poison. Put two more damage counters on your opponent's poison Pokemon during Pokemon checkup. Oh, I'm so tempted to put together a special condition. Like poison deck. I really want to build like a poison deck. And this Toxicroak might, might be another way to go with this more poison. And poison Claws. Flip a coin. If heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. Let me know, is there any way to build like a really viable poison type deck in standard? Um, if everyone knows about that, that'll be really cool to look into. Um, and let's see. The new water theme deck, you mean? Um, no, no, no. The in Sorry. Um, a Sapa Boca. Uh, I'm just asking how I'm going to learn to build my own deck. Um... Honestly, there's a lot of great YouTube videos out there on how to build your standard decks. And also definitely check out what standard decks are doing well at the moment. Um, the new water theme deck. Uh, the Intellian one? I'm definitely not talking about the Intellian one. I'm not a fan. Uh, I'm talking about Entei, Blazing Volcano. Blazing Volcano is a really, really great theme deck to pick up. Honestly, right now, the theme decks I'm having most success with. If you're looking for a theme deck that will do you well in the event ladder, or just on the standard versus ladder, just to get you wins. Um, obviously, Relentless Flame, 
probably top of the list. You can just pick up that deck and just spam your tournaments. You will get a lot of unopened boosters that way. And you can trade those unopened boosters for whatever cards you're looking for. So top of the list, I'd go Relentless Flame. Um, you, you guarantee a lot of wins with that deck. It's a really, really great deck. Uh, if you're looking for a water type deck, theme deck, uh, I would suggest picking up the Unseen Depths. Unseen Depths does really, really well in the current meta, especially against like stuff like Blazing, uh, well, Blazing Volcano, yes, but also the Relentless Flame deck. So Unseen Depths will do you quite well, again, if you want to play events, or if you just want to play in the Versus theme ladder, it will do really well for you. Um, it's very reliable, I've, a, I've had a lot of success with that as well. Another deck I've had a lot of success with very recently is the Entei deck, Blazing Volcano. Blazing Volcano is a really, really reliable deck, and it also has some good value to pick it up because you're getting Makago, which has Smooth Over. Smooth Over is absolutely fantastic, it allows you to search through your deck and basically choose whatever card you want your top card to be on top of your deck, which then you can then play a draw card to pick it up. So that you can get a lot of value out of the Entei deck because you're getting that Macargo card anyway, which you can play in standard. And just off the top, that theme deck is great. Um, as I said, I got a really easy nine win streak this morning. Uh, I'm actually really irritated. I lost that theme deck really. Fr uh, I lost that um, streak from really really silly mistakes. I made like six or so errors in a single game. Like, 100% I deserve to lose that game, which is really frustrating. Um, yeah, let's open up another pack before I get into any more comments. Uh, it's just not standing, well, sitting, staring at the same card the whole time. So I'll get back to the comments in a second. Let's see what's in our next pack. Um, this doesn't look too great. Um, put this Pokemon and all attached cards into your hand. <laughs> interesting? Don't know how great it is, but interesting. Um, I love... Uh, Clobopus. I think it's such a great card. Uh, I actually want to build in Pokemon Shield. I want to put together a team um, using Grapplepus, but let's see how that goes. I think it's just such a cute Pokemon. I do hate that it's not a Water-type Pokemon, though. It drives me, it really irritates me in Pokemon Shield that it's not Water-type. It's just pure fighting, which I find quite frustrating because it's literally an Octopus that you find in the water, but it's not a Water-type. But anyway, um, not too much great value from this. Um, hop, reflect. Still, I'm a big sucker for bug types. If I can manage to get a bug type deck to work, I'll be really, really happy. And Drapion. Again, I keep picking up cards that want to make me do a special conditions deck. Hard press, flip a coin. If here's your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed and toxic strike, your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. I really want to put together a special conditions deck. Uh, just maybe look into it and see what if there's anything good I can put together. I think, like, I don't know if I'll be able to build a hyper-competitive standard deck. Well, I'm pretty sure I won't be building a hyper-competitive standard deck. But certainly building something for fun, with just like spamming special conditions, I, I think that'd be quite cool. Um, so let's see. Oh, you can just call me Ella, um, uh, Elia. It's an Italian name. Ah, Ranger's Ghost from YouTube. Ah, okay, that makes more sense, Ranger's Ghost. Okay. Elia. Elia? Am I saying it right? Elia? Sorry, I know I'm not very familiar with Italian names. I apologize for that. Um, yeah, thanks so much for coming through and watching this. I know you've posted a lot of YouTube comments and I always appreciate the comments. It makes it interesting. Um, yeah, because I know I make a lot of mistakes and having those mistakes pointed out really does help. Uh, I know it can seem frustrating, but it's a really great way to learn. Um, if you can't learn from your own mistakes, you're not going to improve as a player. And yeah, all the advice always really, really helps. So thanks for that. And I use the, um, aside for Boca, I use the Dragonite theme deck for wins. Yeah, Soaring Skies is, yeah, sorry, that's actually a deck I didn't mention now. Soaring Skies is a great theme deck. The pressure you can put on from Tornadus and Thunderous, if you can get them out super early, the pressure you put on your opponent is crazy. It is very, very difficult to come back. Um... If you're, if you're able to get, if you're going first and you're able to get like Thunderous or Tornadus down first turn and then second turn get the opposite down on your bench, from turn two you're applying so much pressure to your opponent, it can be incredibly difficult to come back from that. So yeah, 100% Soaring Skies is a great theme deck to play. 
Um, and I can definitely see why you're using it as a way just to get wins. Uh, it's, yeah, it's up there for top theme decks. 100% it's up there. Oh, I'm liking this pack a lot. I'm really liking this pack a lot. And I'll get, get to it in a second. So Rosalia and Ferrothorn, not too great. Krabby, meh. Galarian Zigzagoon. I'm, it looks like I'm building a dark deck so far. Um, Headbutt Tantrum. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may put one damage counter on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Yeah, it's only 10 damage. This adds up. Um, and I think that you can make some really interesting plays from this. I know there's been quite a bit of talk with the Galarian Zigzagoon family line about making some decks. So this might be something to look into. Um, and it could be a lot of fun. I quite like that. I managed to get two in this pack as well, which is really, really great. I got a foily one as well, which is quite nice. Um, got ourselves Doug Trio. I love this card art of this Doug Trio. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, the team of Diglett Triplets that triggers you to Earthquakes by burying 60 miles on the ground. I love this artwork so much, just from the scared um, Doug Trio in the background. It's so great. Um, I actually wish there was Doug Trio in the Tyrant Heights deck. Um, that's actually another deck that's doing really, really well for me. Towering Heights is also super, super reliable. Uh, one thing with Towering Heights, I know I'm in the middle of a pack opening. Towering Heights, if you can bait your opponent into putting damage counts in one of your Pokemon, um, when you've got a throw on the on the bench and you can bring your throw on the next turn, it is so, so valuable. Honestly, you can have a um, Groudon as your first active Pokemon, just to get drought off to put those energies on your Thrall, as soon as your opponent hits that Groudon, just swap it out. Thrall will close the game for you. Um, yeah, 100% Towering Heights, another great theme deck. I really, really enjoy playing it. Uh, again, also a deck I've got a lot of success with. Not so much using Groudon for attacks, but using Groudon for drought more than anything else. Oh, Lucky Egg. If the Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked up by damage from the opponent's attack, draw cards to have seven cards in your hand. This is awesome. Um, I am very happy to have opened a Lucky Egg. That is, yeah, I am very happy with this booster pack. Let's see, does it get any better? And um, hey, that is a very nice pickup. Nice foily Intellion. The proper Intellion with the Pokemon ability, not counting the one from the theme deck. This is really, really cool. Um, Shady Dealings, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may search your deck from the two trainer cards, reveal them and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. And Aqua Bullet, this attack does 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. I really like this Intellion. Um, I'm a big fan of it. I wish that the theme decks from the Sword and Shield series, the Intellion deck, well actually all of them, I wish they had the copies with the Pokemon abilities. They are so much better and you really like they could have put so much more pressure on the theme deck meta with these decks that actually had their Pokemon abilities. Um, yeah, I I really wish that these were the, the ones that got included. Then, like honestly then, I think the Intellion theme deck would have been absolutely awesome. To me, why the Intellion theme deck suffers, and it's something I really noticed from playing a lot of the older theme decks is that you need you need a gimmick you need something that makes the theme deck interesting to me the current intellion theme deck is not interesting i don't find it super fun to play like it's got that little bit of disruption with it but it's not interesting if they had used these pokemon abilities in that theme deck it would have been so much more interesting because then you've got an entire theme deck that revolves around bringing trainer cards um, back into your hand. Uh, sorry, um, not bring back into your hand. Search your deck for trainer cards and put them into your hand. That makes a super, super interesting deck. Because then you've got a deck that revolves around those theme cards, uh, those trainer cards, sorry. And you've then got an in interesting staple for a deck. You've got your really cool Intellion, Intellion line. You're showing off your new Pokemon and you're showing off your trainer cards. That way you have an interesting theme deck. Compared to the way it runs now where it's like, eh, it's a little bit of disruption. It's cool. It's not that interesting. So yeah, this is a really cool pack opening. I'm quite happy to see this. Um, Towering Heights is my favorite. Ah, yeah. Um, Elia. Uh, Elia. Really, 
Ragnar Skoa, sorry, I'm going to mispronounce your name. Elia? Elia? I was saying it right, Elia. I really hope I'm saying it right. I'm, I know, I'm really terrible with names. Um, Towering Heights is my favorite theme deck. It's so strong, and you have a lot of options on how to play, depending on what you draw, um, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree with you. Towering Heights, like I just said, is such a great theme deck. It's also a lot of fun to play, because, um, like you're saying, you've got a whole bunch of different options. You can play into the Thor, which is a very, very reliable strategy. It only requires two energies. Super easy setup because you can just retreat one of your Pokemon onto your bench. And then you've got your Thor throwing out 120 damage a turn, which is amazing. Um, you can go into switch shenanigans using Groudon and uh, Garchomp. Uh, because Groudon can't attack twice, but you can switch into Garchomp and then retreat Garchomp back into Groudon because Garchomp has zero retreat cost, which I still think is absolutely amazing. Garchomp is just absolutely amazing in that deck as well. Um, I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, Seismitoad. Seismitoad's Bulldoze is awesome. Like I said, it's another way where, like, it's the same as Macargo, it's a way to fix your next draw, which is absolutely fantastic. Um... Using Seismitoad to attack is a little bit heavy. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, do you use Seismitoad to attack quite often? Um, I rarely get it off. I actually prefer um, Pulpitoad, the one before, for just that one energy for 60 damage and to spread those damage counters across your bench. I tend to use that quite often. I don't use Seismitoad very often to actually attack with. Um, let me know. Do you use it or not? And yeah, let's go and open up another pack and see what we get. We've got 11 more of these packs to go through, so I'm really, really excited. Um, just in the end, maybe for the last one or two KOs. Okay. Um, interesting to know that you actually use it. I, like I said, I've really struggled to get... I know you've got Groudon to use Drought to get those energies there. I always struggle to get them off. Um, but yeah, using for the last one or two KOs is not a bad idea. Yeah, I'll try it. I'll have some games later on today. Um, I don't want to say I want to force Seismitoad, but ah, I'll give it a try. Okay. Um, this game's telling me I need to build a dark deck. Um, eh, not anything crazy so far. Another Galarian Zigzagoon. I'm, I think I've actually got four of them now, which is quite cool. Um, yeah, I was really looking to build in that Zigzagoon deck. Oh, got an Aurora energy. This is this is an awesome pull. I am very happy to see this. You can attach this card to one of your Pokemon only if you discard another card from your hand. That discard is actually super useful. Um, I am very happy being able to discard a card from my hand. Uh, as long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides every type of energy, but provides only one energy at a time. This is a fantastic pull. I am really, really happy to have opened one of these. Um, yeah, wow. Okay. Uh, why I said the discard is great, you can use it to combo with a lot of the tag team and GX Pokemon, like the Mew and Mew. Um, so this Aurora Energy is a great way to get that off. Um, and just if, you, if you're if you wanting a card in your discard pile, using Aurora Energy to get it there is a very, very nice way. We've got some of the Ferrothorn, and we've got ourselves two uh, cards here. Let's see, what do we get? We've got ourselves a Foil Dreadnought. Eh, it's not bad, not great. It's one of those, it's it's alright. I'm glad to have it, but again, I'm not too crazy about it. And let's see, what else do we get? Oh, okay. This is in interesting. Um, since, you know, this is a really interesting draw. So, I was watching a video earlier on today, running this with a mill deck. Um, just make do is absolutely fantastic. You may discard a card from your hand in order to use this ability. Once during your turn, you may draw two cards. This is really, really great. Uh, nice thing is it doesn't have to be your active Pokemon either. Um, I am really happy with this. And then energy assist, attach a basic energy card from discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. It, it might come up that I would use that, but it's going to be very, very rare whenever that happens. I am happy with this booster pack. Wow, this is some really great value. Being able to pick up an Aurora energy and being able to pick up a uh, Sensino with Make Do, that is awesome. Yeah, I'm very, very happy with this pool. Alright, let's go to another. These pools so far have been really great. I see we're going opening packs for the last 40 minutes. I don't know if I even get around to making a deck in the first hour. 
But let's see. Um, if not, I am streaming again tonight. Well, my tonight at uh, thirteen hundred GMT. Uh, I will definitely be playing some standard games then. I don't know if I'll get around to being able to build. Well, I don't know if I'll be able to get around to actually playing any standard games uh, with this stream. But I'm definitely gonna try and build one, uh, or at least start building one. Team your grunt, put an energy. Sorry, put an energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon into their hand. Eh, it slows them down, but I'd, I'd rather run the hammer. Search your deck for a basic energy card, reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Uh, Pinchurchin, Shocking Needles. Flip 4 coins, the attack does 30 damage for each head. If at least 2 of them are heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is uh, paralyzed. That's not bad. Um, yeah, you should get that off. Flip 4 coins, the attack does 30 damage for each head. If at least 2 of them are heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. The odds are you should get that paralyzed off every single time. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty interesting to paralyze like your opponents. Again, like it's interesting in like from the theme deck perspective. It might just get it's probably just going to get dominated in the standard format. And Cromorant, that's a terrible last draw. Okay, that was a really disappointing um, pack. Let's see what's coming up next. We've got nine more after this. Um. Oh, this is looking quite good. Okay, I definitely have my four Zigzagoons now, which is awesome. Krabby, Aquashell, it's like there's 10 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Why is that Krabby not in the theme deck? Like, why? That Krabby goes so well with the Kingler. Aquashell, it's like there's 10 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. That is so great compared to the Krabby that's in the theme deck. I am so disappointed. Like. I'm just getting more and more frustrated with that Intellion theme deck. Ah, man. Okay, I need to get on over with that. Uh, Grookey, eh. Man, that Krabby, I love Krabby as well. Like, I'm a sucker for all the Gen 1 Pokemon. I, I do favor Gen 1 Pokemon, straight up there, I do. It's just, it's where I started. It's always, I'm gonna have a great love for them. And I love Krabby especially. Don't know why, it's just such a derpy Pokemon. I think it's just, it's fun, and I like that. Um, uh, what else do we have? We have ourselves a Hootoot. Your opponent switches their active Pokemon one of their benched Pokemon. Yeah, it's like, great. Rotom Bike. Draw a card to have six cards in your hand. Your turn ends. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Stop. I, I guess, like, if you don't have... If you don't have an attack on the first turn, this is awesome. You can get this in the first turn, that's really, really great. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about that. Quick Ball, I'm very happy to see. You can play this card only if you discard another card from your hand. Search your deck for base Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Okay. Um, not bad. Well, I'm talking about not bad. I'm really glad I got this card. Um, Quick Ball is basically a staple. So, yeah, I'm very happy with that. Um... Foily Zigzagoon, I'm very happy. Yeah, what? I don't know. So far, what... What typing do you think I should go for? From what you've seen so far, I'm leaning towards dark. Like, building a dark type deck. But I'll have to see and go through my collection and go from there. And... Oh... That might have just changed. That might have just changed. That Stone Jorna V changes my opinion. I'm... Mm, this is quite a nice pickup. This is a very nice pickup. Guard Press. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 20 less damage. So you're able to tank quite nicely with it and then make it for 150. If I can get the VMAX of the Stone Journal, I might be able to board a really cool fighting type deck. This is a really, really nice draw. Or well, this pull is really, really nice. Let me know, what do you think about the Stone Jorna? I heard it's quite good from what I, the little I've seen. That's interesting. Um, Alaya, uh, that crab would be really strong comparing with Double Hitch Krabby from the theme decks. Yeah, 100%, I agree with you there. Um, that This Krabby is so much better than the one in the theme deck. It really irritates me, man. Wow. I'd kill for this to be in the theme deck. I really feel like I dropped the ball with the, theme, the Intellian theme deck quite a bit. Like, I know you can't make it too powerful, but to be fair, four to, like, 
compete against the, that relentless flame deck. Um, yeah, that wow would have been so much stronger with that. I don't, I don't like the uh, the crabby that's in the current one. I've, I don't think I've ever got its attack off. It's just, it's so pointless. Such a pointless card. Yeah, I'm really happy with this pool though. Wow, cool. I'm, um, yeah, going well so far. I've got eight more to go. These sword and shield boosters have been good so far. Um, I'm really liking these new cards. This is looking like a very meh pack so far. Uh, Blip bug, nothing special there. Muna, eh, eh, nothing great. Citrus berry, at the end of each turn, if the Pokemon this card is attached to has three or more damage counters on it, heal three damage from this, from it, and then discard this card. Again, I was seeing this with the Stone Jorna, the Stone Jorna V, and just tanking out. Um, Elias, nice pull. Yeah, that Stone Jorna V is definitely a very nice pull. Um, might be able to make something from it. I think I might have to pick up, pick up a lot more packs though to really make the, sta the a viable standard deck. Because again, I don't want to trade away those uh, unlock packs. I want to use them as giveaways for my YouTube channel. Want to hit 500 and 1,000 subscribers respectively. So I'm going to do five packs for 500 subscribers, and then a thousand for, well, sorry, a thousand. A thousand subs will be ten packs. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. The more subscribers we get, the quicker we can get to those stretch goals, which will be really, really cool. Um, yeah. And let's see. Also, the link for that is down below. Oh, got some of Frostmoth. I know there's a lot of talk about this Frostmoth running with Lapras as a deck. So Ice Dance, as often as you like during your turn, you may attach a water energy card from your hand to one of your benched Pokemon. A benched water type Pokemon. Yeah, this is a very, very nice pool. Beautiful card, absolutely beautiful card as well. Um, I know there's been a lot of talk about running this card um, with Lapras and, uh, what's that water unicorn? Caldea, no. Ah, my brain is, I'm pulling a complete blank on it. Um, but yeah, this Frost Moth is pretty good value as well. So yeah, this is a pretty decent pull again. I'm happy with this. This is looking good so far. Okay, let's open up another another pack. Let's get this going. I want to actually start building a deck very soon. Ah, oh, another Krabby. This is just like insult to injury. Absolute insult to injury. Um, what does this one do? Yeah, this is the Aquashar one. A, re a red skewer for some reason. Um, oh, beautiful Lapras. This is not the one I was talking about though. Aqua Wash, you may put two energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon into their hand. So that's really cool for stalling your opponent. But getting four energies down this Lapras is not going to be terribly easy. Um, I know with the, the Frost Moth it's, it's a possibility. But again, committing four water energy for that. Yeah, I guess like stalling your opponent is great and all, but it's, it is only 70 damage. Um, it is beautiful though. I love Lapras. Absolutely love Lapras. Oh, I just get Lapras plushy actually. Come think of it. And Raichu. Painful punch. Eh. Eh. That's not a great pull. This is a bit of a dud of a pack. Okay. Let's turn on to the next one. Let's see. I've only got, I think, six left. So that's not so great. Um, meh. Not, not great. Not great. Not great. Joltic flop. Not great. Silicobra. I quite like Silicobra actually. As a Pokemon, I quite like it. It's very interesting. I enjoy Snake. <coughs> Sorry, I enjoy Snake type Pokemon. Galarian Stunfisk, 120 Metal type Snap Trap. If this Pokemon is the active, is in the active spot and is damaged by an opponent's attack, um, discard energy from the attacking Pokemon and then damage rush, flip a coin until you get tailed. Takes 30 more damage for each heads. Ah, uh, it's not bad. It's not fantastic. I guess if you're running the uh, Berserker, the Galarian uh, Meowth evolution, it could work, maybe. Running a metal deck, but it's not fantastic. Got also a nice foily evolution in sense, which is quite nice. And, ah oh man, another bad pull. Uh, Lantern, Strobe Shock. Your opponent reveals their hand. If you find any energy cards there, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. <sighs> like, it's... Again, it's not bad, but I don't, I don't know if it's going to hold up to actually being usable. I'm not too happy with that. Okay, five more to go. Let's see. How have the pools been? Um, BC302, not bad. Overall, I'm pretty happy with them. 
I managed to get Stone John of V, which is huge. Uh, Stone John of V, which was a great pull. I pulled a Frost Moth, which has been really, really awesome. That's definitely been a hard out for me. Pulled a Lucky Egg, which I'm super, super excited about. Um, I feel like there's one I'm forgetting, which was a really great draw as well. Um, what am I missing? But yeah, overall, I've been pretty happy with these draws. Um, Lucky Egg especially was quite a nice draw. I'm very, very happy to see a Lucky Egg. Um, and Stone Jordan V again, also quite nice. Oh, I got the Zamazenta. Um, was it Dacian? No, Zamazenta. Uh, which, I've got two copies of it now, which is not bad. But again, not too great. Lumberry, at the end of each turn. If the Pokemon this card is attached to is affected by special condition, it recovers. Eh, not too great. Call the Squire. Pluck, before doing any damage, discard all Pokemon, two cards from opponent's active Pokemon. Again, that disruption is pretty cool, but hey, not bad. Um, BCPR2, nice, best of luck for the rest. Thank you, my friend. Um, hope I get lucky again. Uh, hope to get some more pulls. If I can get Stone Jorn of VMAX, that'll be crazy cool. Um, Golvantula, I like Golvantula. I like bug type Pokemon, I don't know why. Vault Wave, flip a coin. If heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Yeah, again, it's pretty cool from running like a bug. Ooh, that would be quite a cool, like, themed standard deck. It's like a bug, um, a bug special condition type deck. But I think it's going to be trash, though. Uh, very beautiful Panita. Beautiful card. I'm not ever going to use it, but a beautiful card. And, uh, it's a foil, Professor's Research. Professor's Research is a great card. I am very happy to have it. Um... But it's kind of like a meh pull. It just, it looks cool. Um, I'm happy to have the foil, don't get me wrong. But yeah, it's it's cool. But let's see. Alright, can we get another fantastic pack? I'm really digging for Stone Jordan of VMAX. Hey, we got um, Snom, which is quite cool. So I can actually get Frost Moth off. Um, as for the rest, nothing too great. Mobile, find a friend, search deck for Pokemon, reveal it and put it into your hand. Yeah, that's quite that's always quite nice. And then crunch just got an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. I like this Mobile. Um there's a copy of it in which one was I playing? Muck Strike? I think it was Muck Strike theme deck. Um and I said I liked it back then, and I still like it. I think it's a really nice Mobile. And this card art is beautiful. I'm loving the card art from Sword and Shield. They are looking absolutely beautiful. Another Galarian Ponyta. And... Oh! This is a very nice Urunguru pool, actually. Um, wow, I'm very happy with this. So, Urunguru, 120 HP. Primate Wisdom. Once during your turn, uh, you may switch a card from your hand with the top card of your deck. This has got some really, really great value. Um, so, this is nice if you're about to like Professor's Research away, and you want to save one of your cards. You can use this Primate Wisdom to essentially save one of your cards and then draw into it again. You can do this to save if you know your opponent has a um, way to get you to discard your hand. I know there's a trainer card that does that and this, the name is just not coming to me. And she was the main person from Pokemon Storm Shield. Ah, what's her name? Where you draw five cards, your opponent draws four cards. I'm drawing complete. I can see the card, but I can't say it. Anyway, this Urungu, I am very, very happy with this pool. This is awesome and it's a foil on top of that um yeah this is basically like an auto included in the deck and on top of that it's a free draw and yo it actually combos quite nicely as well something like macargo you can use macargo smooth over or even bulldoze from seismitoad but macargo is a bit more viable you use macargo to smooth over and put something on top of your deck and use primate wisdom to then draw it this is a really really great card i'm glad i'm really glad i pulled this um <laughs> yeah, the chat shouting out. It's it, it's a cool it's a cool draw. Um, yeah, I wanted that Uruguru, uh, Elia, and the BC302 with Macargo. That's so good. 100% I agree with you. Like I just said, it's a great combo. I'm very happy to pull this. Marnie, BOC302. Thank you so much. Marnie, that's that card's name. Um, this is a great like protection against Marnie. Um, even using Marnie. Yeah, wow, I'm really happy with this pool. This is definitely up there with like the top from this session. Wow, okay. Thank you, BC Ethereum 2. That's driving me mad. 
Yeah, this was a great pack. Okay, let's see. There are three more after this. So, three more after this pack. Another Krabby. I now hate that Krabby because I want, like, I wish it was in the theme deck so much. It's just, like, irritating me now. Um, as for the rest of the pools, nothing too crazy. <laughs> Build a fighting type mill deck with Stomp Wolf? Eh, no, probably not going to be viable. Um, Citrus Berry. Why is this a showing me as new? I've got this already. Uh, Hyper Potion. I'm happy to see a Hyper Potion, don't get me wrong. Have you pulled a Marnie yet? That's something I'm still looking for. Um, BC302, I think I pulled one from a locked pack. I'll check it out after this pack quickly now. Quick. Um, I don't know if it's tradable though. Um, let's see. These are all locked ones. Hey, we got ourselves a Wobbuffet V. Gritty comeback. Switch all damage counters on this Pokemon with those on your opponent's active Pokemon. Um, this can actually be a super fun way uh, that you use... What was that card I pulled earlier? Um, oh man, I pulled a card earlier that allowed you to move your psychic energies across. I know... Oh man, what was it? Man, I can't think of it. Anyway, that's really comeback. It's quite cool. And then Shadowbind. During your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon can't retreat. That's not bad, but it's mainly gritty comeback. So essentially, you just spam, uh, move a whole bunch. Oh, it was the Jinx that allowed you to move your damage counters around. So you use Jinx to move a whole bunch of damage counters onto this Wobbuffet V, and then you use gritty comeback to essentially switch all those damage counters with your opponent. Um, yeah, it's an interesting way to do it, and I quite like that. Um, I mean, by all means, keep your Marini even if it is tradable. Low off on it eventually. Yeah, yeah, no, I just want to see out of interest. I can't remember if mine is tradable or not. Um, let's see, collection. I don't know why I keep searching for it. I'm in my collection already. Um, let's go, Marnie. I don't know if I pulled one. No, I didn't. I thought I had one. I really thought I pulled a Marnie. I'm spe spelling it right, right? It is M-A, right? Yeah, it is M-A. I'm so sure I pulled a Marnie. Is it Mars I'm thinking of? Huh. I guess I don't have one. Well, let's see if we can open one. That'll be quite cool. I might actually pick up some more booster packs. I'm really enjoying opening these packs. Um, yeah, let's see. What does our next pack have for us? Um, not terrible overall. Uh, got myself a more wire, which I quite like. I know the Snom, I'm, I mean, I'm gonna need the Snom down the line with that Snow Moth, uh, Frost Moth, sorry. So I'm happy seeing this Snom. Um, Sizzlepeed, eh. The rest of this, eh. Big Charm, this per uh, Pokemon that's called attached to gets 30 HP. I'm really seeing like a really tanky Stone Jaw V build coming along. Um, if I can get the VMAX version of it. And Thievil, I don't think this is too great. Although it's not a Dark type, so I might be able to build a Dark type. Thief, your opponent reveals their hand, choose a card, you find there and put it on the bottom of their deck. That's not bad for Disruption. That's not bad by, by Disruption at all. Um, yeah, I really think the winner from this pack, this pool, though, is Big Charm. Um, yeah, that bonus 30 HP can really just take your can take your Pokemon out of one shot range. So I do think that this is the pool from this uh, from this pack. Uh, BC302, the Big Charm, though. Yeah, man, I 100% agree with you there. I think that this is the pool for it. Um, yeah, not a bad pack. I'm happy with that. Opening up that Big Charm. Let's see. What else do we get? Um, Pokemon Catcher. I'm always happy seeing Pokemon Catcher. Uh, Scorpy. Yeah, I'm really leaning towards a Dark Type deck. I think it's gonna happen. Going Dark Type, primary Dark Type with Poison uh, and Special Conditions. I quite like this idea. Uh, I don't know how effective it's gonna be, but hey. Um, Haunter. But the Haunter can even work because Nightmare. Although it's asleep. It's a special condition, and eh, I don't know. I might not do that. Anyway. Hey, we pulled ourselves another Uranguru. Oh my word. I've got two now. That is a super great pull. Oh, I'm very, very happy with that. Oh, I'm happy seeing that. 100% happy seeing that. This is probably going to be an auto include in whatever deck I build. Um, that Primate Wisdom is just so good. Just so good, my word. 
I'm very happy. Okay, let's see. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? V? Ah, no, but it's a Cinderace. Uh, your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned. For a stage, this thing is like it's still clunky for a stage two, and then burning kick, uh, one hundred and sixty. It's nice. I mean, Powerball fifty damage for a burn is is decent, and then burning kick, one hundred and sixty damage for just two fire t fire energies, and then, I mean, it's easy enough to get those back with Welder. It's not a bad card actually. It's really not a bad card. Um. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think I overbought a fire type deck. I'm not a big fan of fire types, but hey. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of fire types. 100% um, the pull from this pack was this Uranguru. The fact that I have two of them is fantastic. Um, PC302, yeah man, I'm I'm shocked. That's such a great pull. Uh, you're not that unlucky opening packs like I expected. Sorry for saying this. This is because of your flip coin luck. <laughs> I 100% agree with that statement. Um, yeah, for any of those who, you who have not watched my YouTube videos, uh, I am super unlucky with mulligans, and I am super unlucky with coin flips. Timer Ball is my most hated card. The amount of times I've gotten double tails with that card, it, it's just, it's unbelievable. So, yeah, Eli, um, Elia, I, I 100% agree with you, like... My luck playing is really, really terrible. Apparently, like, touch wood, my luck pulling so far has been pretty on point, and I'm very, very happy with them. But yeah, don't even get me started with my luck playing the game. Like, <sighs> yeah, <laughs> it's really bad. And like, when, I, when I'm not streaming, I get super lucky. I mean, like I said, I had a nine win streak recently with the Blazing Volcano deck, and I had such great games. But as soon as I put, like, my camera on and I start streaming, my luck just goes poof, and plummets. So yeah, I'm glad I'm finally getting some luck payouts with these pulls. So I deserve this. Touch wood. One more time. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's open another one. Um, you're going to get 10 mulligans in one game someday. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, I can see that happening. 100% I can see that happening. Um, let's see. This, yeah, again, not a, not a great pull. Uh, Thwacky. So twenty opponents bench Pokemon through active Pokemon. That again, arguably that's a better Thwacky than the one in the theme deck. But I do kind of understand that. Pulpad, shuffle up to two supporter cards from your discard pile into why am I reading Pulpad? I don't know what Pulpad does. I'm happy seeing a Pulpad though. Um more while. And let's see. Something great, something great, something great. Another Toxicroak. I honestly think I'm gonna be boarding this dark deck. Um going with poison. Yeah, I really think I'm going to go for that. Sorry, I heard a knock my door. I think that's my del delivery. Let's see how that goes. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was my delivery. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, let's see. Pulp pad is nice. Pulp pad is very, very nice. I'm happy pulling a pulp pad. Um, yeah, I'm very happy pulling pulp pad. I need them. I think I've got a few of them now. How many do I have? I want to say I've got... I want to say I have three of them so far. This Toxic Rook I'm really happy with. This more poison. I'm very, very happy with Toxic Rook. I'm probably going to be building a spe uh, special edition. That is all of my packs. I think I'm going to go and pick up some more. Um, I just want to see Pulpad. How many I have? Because I would like to be running... Yeah, I've got two. Two's enough. I would like more. Um, but yeah, I think I'm actually going to be picking up some more uh, booster packs. I've really enjoyed opening these so far. Um... Yeah, let's even get lucky. So let's pick up as many as we can. Um, yeah, let's pick them up. I'm going to be playing some standard games anyway, so I'm not terribly concerned with not having cash, well, trend tokens to buy more theme decks. Right now, I don't desperately need another theme deck, um, as I've got some other plans for the future. So yeah, let's see how this goes. Our last seven packs. What am I looking for? I'm really looking for Stone Jorna VMAX. I'm really looking for Zamazenta V, the one with the Intrepid Sword. It is Zamazenta, right? Or is it Zacian? I think it's Zacian. I always get those two mixed up. Um, yeah. Let me know, what are you... What are you hoping for uh, for more pulls from me? Um, what would you like to see me uh, bring out of these packs? Let me know. Zacian, yeah, that's it. Yeah, let's see. Uh, let me know, what are you hoping for? Let's, 
Let's see what these last seven pulls are. There's the Meowth. That Meowth is not bad. Uh, there, there's another Pulp Pad, which is quite nice. Uh, another Quick Ball, which I'm very happy to see. I definitely want more Quick Balls. Another Metal Saucer. Again, very happy with. I want more Metal Saucers. Heat more, nothing special. Pearl Pad, that's three so far, which I'm very, very happy by. Let's see. What do we get? Oh. We got ourselves the Lapras VMAX Gigantamax. Where your opponent VMAX is not... When your Pokemon VMAX is knocked out, your opponent gets three prize cards. So I don't want this to go down. But this Lapras is beautiful. I am very happy opening this up. It works perfectly with Frostmoth. Um, G-Max Pump. This attack does 30 more damage for each water energy attached to this Pokemon. I am very, very happy with this pull. Um, Secret Rare Metal Source would be a pretty hype. Yeah, 100% that would be pretty cool. That or the Goldenization. 100% agree. And yeah, dude. Oh, this is a great pull. Um, I've already got Lapras V, so this, this could work. 100% this could work. Um, as a water deck, there might be some potential. I'm liking this. This was a very, very nice booster pack. I also got that Lapras VMAX recently out of a pack. Hey, well done, Ellie. Uh, Alaya, sorry. Um, yeah, awesome. Huh, okay. This was a very, very nice pull. Even if I'm not able to make a, a deck from this, just to have in my collection, I am very happy to see that. That is a beautiful card. Um... Yeah, if I can get another Frostmoth, I might be able to make something out of it. Uh, I've got another Snom, so I've got three Snoms now, which is quite nice. Um, another Stunfist, another Hyper Potion, which is quite nice. Uh, a pretty Vulpix, which is quite cool. And got ourselves a Regirock V. Again, there's an argument for the building that fighting type deck. Um, interesting, okay. Raging Hammer, this attack does 10 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Building up a tanky fighting type list might not be bad. Um, with that big charm as well. Interesting. And then Rocky Attack with oh, this attack. This Pokemon also does the damage to itself. Ooh, okay. I'm very torn between going for fighting type. A uh, fighting type deck or dark type deck. This is a very nice pool. I like this. I'm liking these Sword and Shield boosters, I must say. Um, I'm really enjoying these uh, sword and shield boosters. All right, another. What do we get? Um, nothing great so far. Investigate. Your opponent shuffles their. Oh, okay. Wait, hang on. Your opponent shuffles their hand and puts it on the bottom of their deck. If they put any cards on the bottom of their deck in this way, they draw three cards. That is really awesome for disruption. I yeah. If you're going second. And this Nicket is your first active Pokemon. That instant don't investigate, instigate. That instigate is a really awesome move to disrupt your opponent. Yeah, this dark type deck is coming together, I think. I like that a lot. I really like that a lot. Just to throw off your opponent's first few turns. Okay. Um Ordinary Rod, that's quite nice. And Roserade, Paralyzed Poison. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. Flip a coin. If hedge, your opponent's active Pokemon is also paralyzed. Very, very nice Roserade. Um, maybe that can go along with my dark. I might be building a Grass Dark. Grass Dark deck. Going for special conditions. I think that's very, very viable. Huh, okay. Um, interesting. Not a fantastic pack, but definitely some things to think about. And what's coming up on the next one? I wouldn't mind another one of those Nickets, actually. I really want another one of those Nickets, come to think of it. Um, Boltund, eh. Beautiful card. I love, like, Boltund as a Pokemon looks awesome. It's like a really cute dog. And it's really believable as well. For that, like, for that alone, like, I like it. And we get ourselves another Drapion. Yeah, I really think this dark type deck is, come, is gonna happen. I don't know how fantastic it's going to be, um, but it's really coming together. I, can't, I, I think I feel these Drapions now. Um, yeah. I don't know how many I more have. Okay, i got three more to go. Three more to go. Let's see what we get. Something good, something good, something good. Um, let's see. 
what do we get? So far, nothing great, but we've got two faced on cards here, which I like to see. Uh, Qfint, very cute card, wow. Beautiful artwork, I like that. Um, Chincho, nothing too great there. Uh, okay, let's see. Come on, let's do this. First one is Snorlax, shiny. Eh, nah, I could do with better cards. And our second one, another Cinderace. Um, not what I was hoping for. Again, there's the argument of building a fire type deck with Bokargo and Welder. Um, again, I don't know if I want to rely on stage 2 Pokemon. Stage 2 Pokemon are difficult to rely on. Um, it's an option though. This one Welder could be quite nice. Okay, two more. Let's see. Two more. Um, another stun for Scarlet Word. Hey, what ride on is this? Horn Draw for 50 damage and Rock Slide. This attack does 10 damage to two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Eh, it's it's not great. Cool looking card though, but not a great card. And got ourselves a Sandaconda. Sand Sack. This Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks. Wow, it really looks like the fighting type Pokemon are going super, super tanky. Um, so I've got that option. I've basically got like fighting type um, tank or I've got dark type poison. Those are the two theme decks I think I want to build, like, in the next little while. Um, and then Power Press for two fighting energy. If this Pokemon has at least one extra fighting type energy attached to it, this takes a 70 more damage. That's really cool. Um, 130 damage, that's not bad. The fact that it's just taking 30 less is pretty cool. Um, yeah, let me know. Uh, do you want to see this come out as a fighting type deck or a dark type deck? Huh. I'm a bit torn at the moment. Um, yeah, let's go and open another. And let's see, what do we get? Uh, Silicobra, another Lumberry, another Golvantula, another Mantine. Not too great of a deck of a pool so far. Ooh, this is a terrible pool. Oh man, that's ugly. Okay, this is not a great pack. I think I've only got one more. That was the last one? Oh man, that's disappointing. That was really disappointing. Okay, well, looking at our Pokemon, what do we have? So, I was going to filter just to see what VMAX Pokemon have so far. Um, let's see our Vs and our GXs, what we can do with it. So, um, why is nothing coming up? Why is nothing filtering? Okay, let's see. Um, what did we get? That might be worthwhile. We got the Intellion, which is not terrible. Um, oh, you can't select both, thanks. Um, I need to see all the cards first. Yeah, no, I get that, that's what one show now. And BC302, be right back dinner. No stress, I might only go for another like five minutes or so just going through these cards. So let's see. Um, Put the two Toxic Croaks, which I'm thinking of going into like a more poison deck. Uh, Urungurus, 100% are going to be dropping into a deck. Uh, regardless, I'm going to be running Urungurus. I did get the Zamazenta V. I don't think I'm going to be using it. Because it only affects this Pokemon. I don't think I'm going to be building anything with that so far. Um, so what else do we have here? That's interesting. Super happy about the Jirachi. Jirachi is 100% going to be in uh, in a deck. So that that's quite nice. Um, why is my stone drawn not? Oh, got the wrong filter on. Give me a second. Let's go to Pokemon V quickly. Uh, let's just see what are our Vs we have. Um, got Torkoal V. Is, is an argument for a fire type deck? I don't want to go for that though. Lapras V, again, is an argument for a water type deck. Lapis VMAX, mainly the, the argument there. Wobbuffet, I'm not going to have cards to make the Wobbuffet deck. Yeah, I got Jirachi, dude. I'm super keen about that. That was my pools from last, like the last pack opening I got. That Jirachi, I'm super, super excited about. It's great value. Regirock V, again, it's super tanky. If I make a super tanky deck, and Stone Jorn, again, super tanky. 
Um, but like, I need to be able to deal damage. That's my problem. Um, and what GXs do I have? I don't think I have. Gr I don't have great value in my GXs. Chuckles there. Chuckles definitely there as a possible. Again, this Chuckle actually was quite nasty if I want to go for a dark, a dark grass, um, special condition deck. Hmm. So we're taking what fifty damage a turn. With tri does triple poison stack? Does triple poison stack with um? What's his face with Toxicroak? Put two more damage counters on your opponent. It should it should stack. Yeah, that's fifty damage a turn from poison. Is pretty cool, especially my opponent's going for a lot of base tough Pokemon. Is not planning to swap out a lot. Um. Yeah, that's it's something. Um, yeah, let's go back to our G, uh, GX and see what else we have. Um, got Arcticuno GX. I, I don't know. When you play this Pokemon from your hand, aren't you benching your turn? You may switch it with your active Pokemon if you do move any number of water energies. I, I guess I can use this to get like a Lapras out of the way once it's been charged up, but that's not great. I don't know. I don't know if it's really worth doing it. The thing is, this Arcticuno doesn't really hit that hard. But net. Again, this it works towards that psychic deck, but I don't have the cards for it just yet. Beautiful card. Greninja GX, I don't think really much value out of it. Xerneas, Leafeon, Sylvalian, Zorok. Is this Zorok still standard? I think it's still standard. Uh, I don't want to run it though. The tradeability is great. Um, so yeah, let's just turn this off and let's just take a look at the most recent cards I got. Um, I don't know. Let's see, what, what dark type Pokemon do I have? Uh, let's take a look at that quickly. Let's go dark and let's go grass. What do I have that I can actually make, make something useful out of? Um, I'm not sure that, but I think so. Once I got 100 poison damage. Wow, okay. 100 damage poison damage a turn. That would be a lot of fun. Um, I'm thinking this is what I'm going to be putting from. I think this is gonna happen. I think this. I think doing like a grass, a grass dark type deck will work quite well because I mean like I've got Roserade with Paralyzed Poison. It's a one off though, which is not a problem. I don't have a lot of. I might have to do some trades. I've got the Roserade. I've got the Zigzagoon line. Uh, oh, I don't. Have, I don't have Obstagoon though, unfortunately. I don't think. Pretty sure I don't have Obstagoon, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, yeah, I don't have Obstagoon. That's a bit unfortunate. I don't know. I don't know if I'll run these then. But again, the ten damage might. Ugh, I don't think it's actually worth it. I've got these Drapions, which is quite nice. I thought I had more than two. Oh, there's the other ones, the foily ones. Um, yeah, I've got four of these Drapions. I've got enough uh, Toxicroaks. I wish I had more Nickets. Uh, also, I only got one uh, Thievul. Um, this will be a nice disruption if I can get it off earlier on. Um, a lot of muck, panic poison. It's now burned, confused, and poisoned. If I get that muck off, that'll be a fantastic play. Uh, I've got the Grimer as well. Yeah, I think it's gonna happen. Alright. So, I think I might call the stream here. Uh, this has been going on for like an hour and a half already, just the pack opening, which I can't believe it took so long. Um, I think I'm going to be putting the deck together tonight then at $1,300 GMT. Um, yeah, in the meantime, I'm going to be going through the cards. I'm going to have a rough idea put together so I can jump into the stream at $1,300 GMT tonight, the, the Saturday. Um, I'll say tonight because it's going to be my tonight, but $1,300 GMT. Uh, I'll have a rough idea of a deck I want to put together. Um, I'm going to probably upload this video to YouTube as well um so if you've got any ideas for any cards you want to see any ideas any sound decks or deck ideas you have let me know um like i said i'm not too familiar with standards so the more help i can get the better um yeah thanks so much for everyone that checked the stream out if you just sat there watching if you're a lurker not actually commenting or in the chat i am 100 percent okay with that um like i said this is my very first stream so i am happy to finally get it online I had a lot of fun. This was a really great pack opening, and I am keen to put a deck together and to jump into some standard games. 
at 1300 GMT. As always, thanks so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed all of this. I had a lot of fun doing this. And I will see you again later, everyone. As always, thanks for watching. Cheers and enjoy.